Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you click this video, you probably want to know what's going on with ChargePoint since the stock is down 33% in one year and almost 17% year to date. Now in general, ChargePoint hasn't done anything wrong that it has slashed from its all time highs of $49.50 all the way down to $20 or so. But this is a general common story with all growth stocks. They have been hammered. They are down 50, 60, 70% from its all time high. Now, yes, of course, 2020 was the year of IPO and SPACs where everything was growth and we are going to go to the moon. But that's not how the real story has turned out in the last year, year and a half and we have got this rude awakening from the market that growth has to be backed up by the performance of the company otherwise everything else is smoke and mirrors however not everything is lost about charge point charge point remains as a pick and shovel play even till today and looking at their most recent investor presentation it just builds my confidence further on charge point now in today's video we look at their investor presentation that they just presented a couple of weeks ago and i will show you my zones where i'm looking where the charge point stock is heading out so if you are interested in charge point and you would like to follow us on this journey leave that like subscribe to the channel and without further ado let's dive in if you don't know what charge point is i highly recommend that you check out my last video very recently they came out again with an investor presentation which these companies always do in a regular basis the management of any company is very important and pascal romano has been charge point ceo for over 10 years now he joined the company in 2011 whereas charge point was founded in 2007 so he has been as a ceo for a very long time you definitely have a lot of experience over here along with uh, the chief financial officer who also has been with the company for a decent amount of time now. ChargePoint currently has over 174,000 activated ChargePoint ports and with over 300,000 accessible via roaming. This is a very, very important number because today electric vehicles still account for a very small minuscule portion. And as the electric vehicles, they will start taking the market share away from ICE. These numbers will be very minuscule from what we will see five, 10 years down the road. When you are thinking of charge point, don't just think from an electric vehicle, which us as consumers are using. Charge point is also focused on fleet charging and fleet vehicles because most of the companies that are going to go electric vehicles, whether it's for their last mile carrier or whether it's for a longer duration, they would be using charging networks and charging stations to charge their vehicles as they move away from ICE trucks to electric trucks. So from this video, if you're going to take out anything, this is the slide that you should look into it. They are predicting that between 2020 and 2026 in a six year time period, they will have a 41% CAGR growth from electric vehicle. And remember, electric vehicle penetration is directly proportional to the charge point. Even from a conservative estimation of, let's say in the next four years, we will see 50% of what they're predicting. That's still a decent amount of growth of over 20%. However, as the Biden administration is inviting more and more electric vehicle companies and meeting with them, they are also showing their support that we are looking into electrifying our vehicles and that's where ChargePoint related companies are going to benefit from it. We already know that ChargePoint is a market leader in America. They also have a growing presence in Europe. They are in 16 European markets and they support nine languages and this is just going to keep growing because Europe currently is the largest market for electric vehicles now this slide is pretty similar we know charge point is vertically integrated so they are not just selling hardware or software and subscription they are doing all three together and that is where the magic is going to happen which I will touch upon a little bit later there are some names here that are going to be playing a very big role in the electric vehicle space they have already integrated charge point in the EV ecosystem so automotive platforms you have Android Auto Apple CarPlay you have Audi you have Mercedes Pin Farina Polestar which is GGPI Porsche Seat Skoda Volkswagen Volvo and guess what? Xpeng. So Xpeng is being a Chinese company, which means that they are already realizing that ChargePoint is going to be the charging station, preferred charging station that is going to be the partner for charging these vehicles. These are some very big names. And once you are already partnered and you're integrated in these systems, you can imagine what is going to be the growth story five, 10 years down the line. Now, now note what I'm saying. 
it is going to take five to 10 years before you will see these companies becoming profitable and really meeting its potential and providing that growth. It is very important to keep that long term mindset, especially when it comes to infrastructure companies like these, which takes a longer time to build. It is not just a software as a service company that once the software is a hit, it becomes a high margin business. It will become a high margin business, but it's going to take time because it is both hardware and software for together. As you can see, imagine Shell is already getting into electric vehicle charging stations. All Shell gas stations have electric charging stations. Most of them you would be able to use charge point subscription and charge your cars over there. And this is going to be one of the models electric vehicles really ramping up as they start using the existing gas station networks. And the last slide from the investor presentation is the revenue diversity. So of course, quarter over quarter, we are seeing 87% growth. But looking from a geography standpoint, we can clearly see see that though Europe it only forms for a very small percentage, it is growing. And that is what we want to see. We want to see ChargePoint growing within the Europe because Europe is really going to lead the electric vehicle revolution after China. And here's a quick update on the quarter four earnings and the future guidance. So the company had a gap net loss of 23 cents a share. The revenues rose some 80% from the same quarter a year ago. It was a bit north of $80 million and this was above expectation. The future guidance which management provided in the latest earnings was full year revenue of 450 million to 500 million in 2022. And at the midpoint of this range, this would result in a sales increase of 96% from the previous year. And that's exactly what we want to see. Non-gap gross margin will be 22 to 26%. That is something also we will have to keep an eye on. And the non-gap operating expense of 350 million to 370 million. At the midpoint, this will represent an anticipated increase of 50% as compared to the prior year. Now keep in mind that ChargePoint is not a profitable company and we don't expect ChargePoint to become profitable or even have a positive EBITDA until 2024. And that might even get pushed out depending upon a lot of geopolitical situation. If you're thinking about a recession coming up, those will have an impact on the company. So keep that range in mind. And the reason why it is, is because the company is focused on the top line growth, which basically means that they want to build a very big consumer base first, and then they will be able to generate very high margin from their software as a service business. If you are planning to buy ChargePoint today and expecting to become a millionaire in next two years, that might not work out. Now, from a public portfolio standpoint, what are the levels that I'm looking at right now? Currently, I'm seeing the 16, 32 to 12.05 as my buy zone. So if the stock is trading in this zone, that is where I'm going to be adding more stocks in the portfolio. I see that the $20.32 is going to be acting as a ceiling for this stock for a while because it hasn't been able to break through it for a while now. And these are some of the levels that I personally think are important for me to track so that I can add ChargePoint to the portfolio. Now there are two reasons when I will exit out of ChargePoint completely. Number one, if ChargePoint is not able to grow as they are predicting, and this is why watching their earnings report is very important. Listening to those earnings call is very important. And secondly, if the electric vehicle revolution is not happening and we are going back in time to the ICE vehicle, that is the time when I will exit out of ChargePoint. I don't see that happening, but again, anything is possible in this world. So that was my quick update on ChargePoint and what levels I'm looking at to buy ChargePoint. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the like, click on subscribe and ring the bell notification. I will see you next time, Investor Family, but don't forget to invest for tomorrow.